Today we have to talk about Honda. Honda has tried their hand at the two-wheeler, classy, sporty, commuter segment, but it has never worked out for them. Uh, they tasted their first success when they launched the Unicorn, and uh, tons of people bought it because the Unicorn was a great bike. There was nothing like that in the market when it launched. But slowly, slowly, the uh, it started showing its age, and uh, Honda didn't care to update it as of such. But now Honda has. Uh, Put out a rumor saying that the CBF 190R, which is up for a patent in India, might be launched, and this is why you should be excited. The bike is finally a looker. Gosh, I remember the god awful designs Honda was making this decade in the commuter segment, but this new bike it hits like a breath of fresh air. The raised tail, low slung headlight, and the underbelly exhaust finally make a statement. That it's here to stay. The only compromise I see in this is the pillion passenger might start to complain after some time. But I also want to uh, include that Honda has finally uh, started offering the Repsol colors and the HRC colors for this bike, and it looks amazing. The only thing I compare it to is the 2017 outgoing model of the CB1000R, and I think it's a great inspiration. Now. Coming to the engine, the 184 cc air-cooled single-cylinder fuel-injected motor produces. Wait for it. Drum roll. 15.8 horsepower and 15.3 Nm of torque. No, I am not excited. What kind of sick joke is Honda trying to play here? 15.8 horsepower. For a bike which is expected to be in the price segment, along with the 20 horsepower club of India, I'm talking about the NS200 and the Apache RTR. You cannot keep doing this, Honda. We are sick and tired. But you would really have to love your Honda Activa so much that your next bike has to be a Honda, and you will pick up this bike. Otherwise, I don't see. Any point in getting this bike for anybody who is serious about their riding likes to get on the highway sometimes, and it's got fuel injection. Of course, every bike does nowadays, and it will give you 40 plus kms average. But you have to understand, this is going, this is not going to be a fast motorcycle even in its segment by any means. When you look at the competition, this bike is going to have. It's tough unless Honda prices this bike a little lower into the 160, 180 segment, where it might actually shine. Because people who are spending that kind of money would love to have a Honda. Speaking about suspension, uh, it's got the invert inverted telescopic forks up front. Of course, this is a cost-cutting segment. You cannot have like the best of everything. And it's getting a mono shock at the rear, and it gets discs uh, on the brakes up front and rear, which is quite common in the entire segment. Uh, plus ABS. But my question here is: Should we just keep supporting this nonsense product that Honda keeps feeding to our Indian brothers and sisters, or is it time to actually raise a question that we don't want outdated products? We saw it with the CB250R. We saw a legend die in India because they've. Just didn't update it. They had the sales figures. They had everything, but they just didn't update it. Now, this is something that should be questioned. Like we should question Honda why they are not bringing their A game to India. Because in our country, where motorcycle thrives in our blood, we buy everything. There is one of each in the country. Heck, India even has a couple of H twos. So I don't see why they are not ready to bring these bikes to India. But I want to know what you think about the CBF 190R. Do you think it's going to be a success? If you disagree with anything that I just said today, let me know in the comments. I'll be there. And also subscribe to the Drivers Hub. We push out fun content like this all the time. Check out our Instagram if you want to stay in the loop. Like our car game is second to none. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.